Hey guys, Spencer here and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God video. Today I'm going to be going over the Trickster set. This Trickster set drops from Treasurer Gemsbok. Um, he's the guy that, he's not up, he's, uh, I think he's left, I think he's the left one through here. Uh, unfortunately, in this solo 03, we are only going to be able to go up here, but that's, that's fine. I'm just going to be able to test everything here. Um, but yeah, basically, the dagger. The dagger is pretty decent. It does a bit less damage than Sea Dirk, but it has a higher rate of fire. Um, Sea Dirk obviously being 90% rate of fire, and this just being the normal 100. And oh my god, Alzeriel with the Twitch Prime sub. What a fucking legend. So the normal range on a dagger is 5.6. This is slightly higher at 5.98. Which is kind of weird, but uh, I, I like having extra range, you know, can't complain about that. Uh, and it has a bit of an amplitude to it, so this, the shots kind of go side to side. Um, which, it's not really a bad thing, it just makes it kind of hard to hit at times. Uh, but yeah, all around, pretty good dagger. I would use it on pretty much everything. Uh, even Assassin, just because of the higher range. Next up, we've got the Gambler's Fate. This is the Prism. Basically, it's just a coin. Uh, you throw a coin wherever your cursor is, and that's the best part about this, is it's a decoy, but you can throw it wherever you want. I can't throw it over these, uh, these fences here, unfortunately, just like you can't teleport over them. But you can throw it to wherever your cursor is, and it stays there for a long time sometimes. Look at that one, it's like not even disappearing. It's just, look, look at that. That was there for like a good seven seconds, maybe? Six, seven seconds? Um, basically, it has a 50% chance to become a silver coin every second. Uh, and then, once it's a silver coin, it has a 50% chance to disappear. So basically, you can have the decoy out forever, if you're lucky enough. Uh, but the longest I've had it out was probably that one, about 8 seconds. But it is really nifty, it's kind of cool. Really decent prism. I have about three slots free on my main trickster because I have every prism in the game pretty much on it. Uh, and so once I get this one, I'm not going to have any room to hold in the items. So, Decca, please add a second backpack option. Be much appreciated. Um, but yeah, besides that, it gives four attack and four dex, which is absolutely crazy. Big DPS. Uh, I think this this might be the highest DPS um, prism. Besides the the one from the Puppet Master's Encore, which actually does straight up damage if it lands on something, but this makes your dagger a lot higher DPS. Uh, MP cost is 90, fame bonus 7%, just like the rest of the items, uh, and the cooldown is 2 seconds, so you can't just spam it, but 2 second cooldown isn't really much, so it's not too bad. On to the armor. So the armor is the Turncoat Cape. And this is pretty crazy, to be honest. The fact that this armor can be worn on so many classes, Rogue, Archer, Assassin, Huntress, Trickster, Ninja, is crazy. Because this gives you invisible for 2 seconds every time you take damage over 40 with a cooldown of 5 seconds. It also gives you 18 death, which is just one less than a tier 14 armor, and it gives you 10 speed, which is ridiculous. It's unheard of. There's no way. How do they do it? And last but not least is the Collector's Monocle. This is the ring, and it gives you 12 attack for 4 seconds if you're invisible. So, it's not really feasible to use this ring on anything besides Rogue, unless you have this armor. Uh, or unless you have G-Rum. If you have G-Rum, then it makes it pretty decent. Uh, if you have a warrior with G-Rum, and you've got this ring on, you can do crazy DPS. Uh, 12 attack for 4 seconds is quite substantial. The cooldown on it is only 1.4 seconds, so you've basically got a permanent 12 attack plus the 8 attack that you get from equipping it, and you're left with 20 attack, pretty much permanently. So, definitely a very high DPS ring, just like all the rings from this dungeon. Decker went with a very high DPS uh, type of loot from here, because they know that everyone's after the DPS loot these days, 
They don't care about anything else. Everyone's after DPS. I just think the dagger is, like, annoying. I, I'm not really a fan of the dagger, to be honest. Like, it's cool and all that it does a lot of damage in the numbers sense of it, but it doesn't feel like you're hitting stuff as much as you would with, like, a Sea Dirk. And I've been using a Sea Dirk for, like, the past few weeks, uh, solely using a Sea Dirk and nothing else. Not even playing on any other class. And in comparison to that, I'd much rather a Sea Dirk with a shorter range than I would this. Because it's just, it's so hard to hit anything with it. Well, it's easy to hit stuff, it's just not easy to do a lot of uh, consecutive hits. So I guess it would just take a little bit of getting used to, maybe. Okay, so I'm 100% going to die here, but... Oh, look at that. Look at all this stained glass bullshit. It's so cool. I feel like all the other sets are very viable uh, in themselves. Like, the wizard one is insane DPS. The knight one is insane DPS. It's amazing. But this one, it just it doesn't feel right. Like, it feels like the items could definitely be put to better use on different classes. Like the ring on a rogue. Ow. <gasps> don't get hit. Don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Just dodge. Just dodge. Everyone says, just dodge. Wait. Just dodge is a viable tactic? No way. I never thought of that. <gasps> no, I'm fucking donezo. <laughs> Oh, how do I do it? <gasps> no, 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 not like this, not like this. <sighs> god, player. Oh my god. <sighs> so yeah, basically, this set is shit as well, because I just died on it. Um, but it's probably the shittest out of all of them, to be honest. It's really good. The items in of themselves are really good, but as a set, if you were to use all of them together, uh, I don't know, to be honest. I'm not a fan. Like, I would prefer the good old, you know, hipster set with the, the Emmy and the, you know, the green knife. Uh, the, the, the red prism and the, the purple overcoat, uh, honestly would be better than this. Or just as good in a lot of situations. But, you know, that's, that's coming from a veteran trickster player who is kind of a, a boomer, uh, at this game. So, I, I guess I'm biased, but this set, you know... It is pretty cool. I love the prism. I think it's awesome that you can just drop a decoy wherever. I think that's going to be really useful. Um, but besides that, all the other items don't really feel appropriate for Trickster. But either way, if you get them, chuck them on something else and have a good time. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out the other UT reviews. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. You have a good one.